I'm Mark Salter, and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the search engine optimization strategies that we use to make our listings more visible online. Victoria Real Estate Board actively surveys buyers of properties to learn where they first discovered the home that they bought. This data is updated every year or so. Here we can see the MLS system through agents and realtor.ca is responsible for a massive amount of property introductions. MLS is a database. If you understand how databases and database queries work, you can see that optimizing electronic searches can be incredibly powerful. When most buyers begin to work with a realtor, their agent will start by setting them up with a private listing account. Only those listings that match their buyer's criteria will show up in this account. And when they do, most buyers choose to receive an electronic notification. The system is so incredibly efficient that within minutes of a realtor uploading their listing onto MLS, which is referred to as broker loading, every account with matching criteria will receive this listing. When we broker load a listing, it is so important to have some respect for how this system operates. While some fields are rarely used to limit a buyer's search, others are crucial. For example, it's very common for a buyer's agent to set up additional accommodation as a requirement in their client's search. If we do not describe our listing that way, when it is listed, the only buyers who will ever receive the listings are the ones who either don't want a suite or are ambivalent about them. Meanwhile, that buyer that values a suite the most would never even receive the listing in the first place. Other crucial search limiting fields are things like MLS area, in-suite laundry, parking. Price, of course, is a huge limiter for these searches too. And for this, we also subscribe to a paid service that shows us how to estimate the likelihood of reaching additional account holders at various asking prices for our listings. This is incredibly useful in strategically setting a list price or determining if a price reduction is necessary. Other advanced options allow for us to reach out to individual agents if their clients have indicated interest in our listing. This is called reverse prospecting. Now, what about clients that don't have a realtor yet that might be searching for real estate on the, on the web? Last year, Realtor.ca, which is the number one real estate platform in Canada, was a powerhouse that received 1.9 billion page views, and that included 14.9 million international visitors. And why wouldn't it be? This is the one site you can go to to view every listing on MLS, regardless of the area or location, or the listing agent or the brokerage. In fact, 87% of Canadians looking for a home are aware of the site. At Alexandria, we make use of keyword research conducted by the Canadian Real Estate Association. For example, in a condo inquiry, buyers are more commonly searching for the term pet friendly than say pets allowed. And likewise, in-law suite, income suite, or just simply suite is more often searched than additional accommodation. And while waterfront is the number one search term, Oceanfront doesn't even make the list. Knowing this, we can edit our MLS descriptions for maximum search engine optimization. 51.6% of users in Victoria access the site on their cell phone. Another reason to have eye-catching photos and a good opening description. But what about the 13% that never heard about Realtor.ca? Well, Alexandrite Real Estate Limited engages in a program of reciprocity between other brokerages in our city. With this program, we authorize every agent and every brokerage in the Victoria Real Estate Board to advertise our listings on their own websites, in addition to ours.